Good evening. There hasn't been a whole lot of diversity in the Seattle mayor's office for the last quarter of a century, but based on the candidates that are lining up right now, that could change. I am so excited to run for mayor, Chris. I love this city. Colleen Echo Hawk may be the biggest name yet to enter the race, a rising star in local political circles who, as executive director of the Chief Seattle Club, has worked to reduce Native American homelessness and has served as co-chair of the city's Community Police Commission. So we do have to have someone at the helm who understands these issues. And I have a very good track record of serving our homeless community. What's your vision for uh, police, given given your, your background with the, the CPC? I think that that is something that has to be done in collaboration and partnership with that de with the department. I think we're talking about human lives there, and I want to be very careful about how we would cut down staffing. Echo Hawk's entrance comes as two other women of color are rumored to be entertaining a run. Local activist and attorney Nikita Oliver, who finished third in 2017, and current Seattle Council President Lorena Gonzalez. Seattle has not elected a person of color as mayor since Norm Rice served two terms in the early 90s. I'm running for mayor because the city of Seattle is in trouble. Former city economic we development employee Lance challenges. Randall is the only um, candidate to have raised any money at this point, citing his business bona fides and belief in public safety, especially downtown. We have an obligation as elected officials to keep the people safe and protected. He is also campaigning on a broad vision for dealing with the proliferation of unauthorized encampments. We need housing, but we, we have to take time to build that. So in the meantime, we have to do what we can to get them off the streets into a safe place in order to provide them the things that they need. That's compassion. Randall says he'll be rolling out his plan, which he's calling the Dignity Project, in the weeks to come. Both he and Echo Hawk could be competing for the interests of the Seattle business community as Echo Hawk sits currently on the board of the Downtown Seattle Association. For now, in Seattle, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.